Hello everyone, Cubologist here again with the seventh part in our Road to Full OLL. Today we're going to be covering cases 5, 6, 53, and 54. Okay, so the first case we're going to be covering is reverse wide anti -soon. At least that's what I call it. Uh, the reason I call it that is because to get to this case from an oriented layer, you do wide anti soon and that will give you this so you can practice. The way that you recognize this is, the obvious part is this oriented block in the bottom right hand corner of the top of the cube. Alright, and then when you look at the front, you'll see no pieces facing you. On the left, there is a 2 by 1 block facing to the left. There's a 2 by 1 block on the left side of the top and then this piece in the top right, which really in your recognition doesn't matter, but just so you know it's pointing to the right. And here's how you execute this case. You do a small r prime, u2, r, u, r prime, u, small r. And that will orient your layer. Now I'm not very fast at these because I'm learning them along with you guys, but here's how I execute it. I do my small r prime, u2 with the double flick, r, push with my left finger to do the u, r prime, u, small r. And here it is. Alright, the next case I'm going to cover is called reverse wide soon. That's my name for it, for the same reason that I named the last one. In order to get to this case, you just do the, the wide soon algorithm and it will go to this state. You'll have a 2 by one block facing you on the bottom left and a 2 by one block facing left on the top left. This piece once again is kind of irrelevant but just so you know it's facing to the right. And the way I execute this case is by doing a small r, u2, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, small r. Now this is very close to one of the anti soon algorithms we learned, the alternate case, uh, in our first video. The only difference is you do a small r at the beginning and a small r prime at the end rather than an r and then an r prime. And here's how you execute it. Once again, not that fast, but it works. Okay guys, the next case we're going to cover is actually called wide double soon and here's how you recognize it. Oriented on top, all you have is this small L shape in the top right hand corner. At the bottom, you have a single piece facing you, you have headlights on the right, and the most defining piece of this is the full bar on the left side. So as soon as you see this shape, headlights, and the bar, you know to do this algorithm. Small r, u, r prime, u, r, u prime, r prime, u, r, u2, small r prime. And that will orient your layer. And here it is at my slow but somewhat efficient speed. Alright guys, the next case we're going to cover is OLL number 54. Uh, I actually call it wide double anti soon. I'm sure it has different names but like I said these are just what I named them in order to keep them in my memory because I feel like that it fits uh, not really for any other specific reason now if you want to know the real names for these or what certain people call them you can either google the case or check the speedsolving.com wiki whatever you want to do but let's get on to recognition for this case it's very similar to the last case we covered number 53 or why double soon in the fact that you just have an L shape oriented on the top but with this case if you had it up here, your bar wouldn't be on the left, it would be in the front. That's how you know it's actually 54 instead of 53. Because you want to put this bar on the left side, you have this L shape on the bottom right hand side of the top of the cube, and you have headlights on the right again. So headlights on the right and a bar on the left is the same, but the L moves from here to here, from 53 to 54. And this is the algorithm you use for this case. Small r prime, u prime, 
R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U2, small r. And that will fix your layer. Alright, now notice in this case, there is actually a reverse trigger or reverse sexy move near the end. And other than that move, it's really just a wide anti soon or a double anti soon whichever way you name your cases. So, if you can learn to just start out doing wide anti soon then do that move, then you have a U2 and a small r at the end, it's really easy to memorize. So here's how I execute this case. And if you want to practice either one of those last two OLLs, number 53 or 54, all you have to do is the algorithm given to solve the case, and that will give you the case that you're looking to solve. Alright guys, I thought those were four easy cases that we could learn today. They're pretty simple and they don't have very many complex moves other than the small R's and extra U2's added in. But I think you guys got that pretty good. But thank you for watching episode number seven. If you're following along and you've already subscribed, I appreciate you coming back. If you've just found us, go ahead and subscribe and join along on our road to full OLL. And thanks for watching guys.